you're looking for this particular style, which actually is the milled CNC style. Also, they're metal, and there doesn't seem to be much play to them. They're, they're very solid. Hello folks, welcome to Necros of Cars. I'm here inside of my Golf R, and I've got a couple of little things I wanted to do to it. One of them being paddles. Now I have the new DSG 7-speed transmission, and when you get the DSG, you get paddles. Now the stock paddles are a little bit plasticky, and they're also kind of cheap feeling a little bit when you're just in a normal driving position if you're just cruising if you're just cruising with your hand down here you cannot reach them very well you have to reach way up to hit the paddle there are lots of cheap paddles available that you can just double stick onto the back of these but i don't really like that look very much and i wanted to get actual replacements so i did that racing line makes ones that are like two or three hundred dollars it's ridiculously expensive for what they are as much as i don't really like china clones sometimes they it's just too good of a value to pass up so uh, my very first order from aliexpress came in and i got these paddles let me show you what they are so yeah check this out these are racing line clones if you just search for dsg paddles on aliexpress you'll find lots of them but you're looking for this particular style which actually is the milled cnc style paddles now these are going to be actual direct bolt-on replacements there's a little pin which holds these stock ones in place i'm going to figure out how to get those out and mount these ones in now you can get these in black silver or red i believe for uh, gti's i went for the brush silver because on this car there are a couple of brush silver accents you've got accents on the wheel here around the uh, digital cockpit around the vent clusters there's little dabs of little chrome strips and I thought that that would look nicer than having black. The black just kind of disappears, and uh, I thought that the silver would be a nice standout. So these paddles are super nicely made, actually. They have a very nice finish to them. It's almost like a satin type of a finish, which opposed to the real racing line ones that cost hundreds of dollars, those ones are glossy. So I actually prefer that this one's a satin or a matte, as well as these knockoff ones have little grooves in them which is nice for uh, for being able to just feel where your hands are it also just gives a nice little feeling to them i think that these clone ones are actually better made than the original ones that, where they were knocked off from these are now down cheap enough where they're 25 dollars us do not buy stick on paddle extensions that's stupid you can now get these for the same price as stick on ones and these are a thousand times better made and they're actually functional replacements for your stock paddles. Now, in order to get these stock paddles off of the car, uh, just turn the ignition on one step and then you can move the wheel. Move the wheel to a 90 degree position and from the bottom of it, there is a little pin right there and that's what you need to pull out. So I'm gonna pull out that pin and then the stock paddle should come right off. In order to get that pin out, I'm gonna use one of my favorite tools for RCing, which is my little pincher pliers. So I'm just gonna reach in there, grab a hold of that pin and pull it straight out. Here it comes. It's, it's pretty loose actually, so you just pull it straight out and there's your DSG paddle pin. Gonna keep that safe and we're gonna install the one side. I'm just gonna clamp this little hold onto the pin. And now getting it off, I should be able to just kind of pull it out of the way. Yeah, you just pull it straight off and there's the back of the paddle. Cool, now let's get the new paddle in place. Here's the old paddle with the new paddle. Let's get this new one installed. In order to get this into place, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is you just tip it in from this, this little hook side. You wanna put that in first, and then the other pieces just align as, uh, it's very much like a GoPro mount where you've got these little uh, holes, and on the steering wheel side, you've got two of them, and they just sit in between. So you just, you're putting that part into this part, and uh, that's it, you just put it into place, it is very hard to see, but all you're doing is you're getting it into place. Now sometimes when you get it in, then you, it doesn't move. So I had it right, and then of course I took it off so I could make the video part, but you can feel it when it's right. There. There. Now it's right. Now I can put the pin in. It has enough friction where you can just leave it there for a second while you shove the pin in from the other side. Now all I need to do is put the pin through the hole. Oh, and then it falls off. And then it falls off. So I'm going to do it off camera because it's too hard for me to hold the camera and try and do that. So I'll come back when it's installed. So I now have this one installed. Works from the top. Doesn't work so well. For, well, you got to pivot it. It doesn't necessarily work by pressing it on this side. You got to pivot it a bit. Got one installed. Now let's get the other one in. Oh, 
Again, you just feel when you get it right. When you're pushing the pin, when just be gentle, you can then use the closed end of your uh, of your tool to just push it the rest of the way in. You want to make sure it's seated fully down in because there's nothing actually holding that in besides friction. It's just a little, you can just hear it ever so slightly kind of click into place. It just is a friction fit. That's it. Installed. Success. We now have both of the paddle extensions installed. I just want to tell you a couple of, of initial impressions about them. First of all, the way they're designed where they have this extension on the, on the edge of it, if you're just holding on to the string wheel and you just want to want to fire off a shift, if you try and press it on this side, it will not work. You can get your index finger on and just you tilt it, right? You have to give it this type of an action. If you just try and press it back, it will not do anything. So you're always having to pivot it in. The benefit to these is that you get this much more of, of functional room to grab a hold of it versus the other ones were just ever so slightly sticking up above this sec section of the string wheel. Also, they're metal, and there doesn't seem to be much play to them. They're they're very solid. I do like that. They're they're not going to rattle. They're on there good. They're uh, they're in my opinion they're better than OEM, and I'm excited to get out there and uh, and drive it like this. Sweet. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you know around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll put links in the description for these paddles because they are an excellent value for a high quality premium replacement. They're not just stick on, they're actually replacements. And that's excellent.